Hello students, today we're going to look at rounding a number to any place. The standard we're looking at is using place value to understand how to round multi-digit whole numbers to any place. You have to ask yourself first, when do I use rounding? You're going to use rounding when a question asks you to estimate. You're going to use rounding if a question asks about how many. It's important to use rounding when exact answer isn't possible. And it's possible to use rounding when in obtaining an exact answer would be difficult. Here's a little poem that might help you remember the steps of rounding. Find your number, look right next door. Four or less, just ignore. Five or more, add one more. You might want to write this poem on your notes as it'll help you every time you need to round a number. Let's try one now. Let's round this number to the nearest 10,000. The number is 368,971. The first step is to find the 10,000's place, the 6, circled in red on this slide. Then look next door. Next door to that six is an eight. Thinking through the poem, four or less, just ignore. Eight is larger than four, so I have to go to the next line. Five or more, add one more. So I'm going to add one more to my six when I round this number. So my three stays the same. My six becomes a seven, and everything else is zeros. Meaning my rounded number is 370,000. Let's try another one. Round this number to the nearest thousand. This number is 35,326. If I want to round it to the nearest 10,000, to the nearest thousand, first I find the thousands place. It's the five. Now I'm going to look right next door at the three. Now I think four or less, just ignore. Since the three is less than four, we're not going to change that five, but all the rest of the numbers become zeros. The three stays, the five doesn't change, and everything else becomes zeros. So 35,327 rounded to the nearest thousand is 35,000. Let's try this one. Let's round 368,971 to the nearest thousand. I find my thousands place. I look next door to the nine. I think if it's less than four, just ignore. But nine is more than four. Five or more, then add one more. So my eight will change to a nine, giving me 369,000. And every other number becomes a zero. Let's take a minute to look at why that works. When we're rounding numbers, what we're really doing is thinking about the numbers on a number line. If I'm rounding 368,971 to the nearest thousand, I'm thinking about thousands. And since I have 368,000, I would have 368,000 on this side of my number line. And I would have 369,000 on this side of my number line. Then I know that halfway in between a thousand would be that 500 mark, so it would be 368,500. 368,971 would obviously fall greater than 368,500, making it closer to 369,000. And that's why my poem tells me if the number next door is five 
or more to add one more because it raises that number to the next spot on the number line when I'm rounding. Let's try this one. I'm going to round 576,932 to the nearest hundred. Thinking of my poem and I have my hundreds place, I look next door. Four or less, just ignore. That means my nine's not going to change. I have to bring my five, seven, six along for the long ride. My nine stays the same, and every other number becomes a zero. So it's 576,900. Let's look at what this would look like on that number line. I'm rounding 576,932 to the nearest hundred. So if I think of that crazy place value we talked about in class, I have 5,769 hundreds. So 5,769 hundreds goes on one side of the number line. And then it would have to be 5,770 hundreds on the other side of my number line. Splitting a hundred in half, my midway point would be 5,706, nine, and then 50, or 576,950. Looking at my number, 576,932, it's less than 576,950. Because it's less, it rounds to the lower spot on my number line, which is why my answer is 576,900. Now you could draw a number line to find your rounding answers, but drawing the number line with numbers this large is not always easy. So the poem tends to be a more direct route to finding your answer. It's time for the check. If you need to go back and watch some examples again, go ahead. Did you copy two examples in your note? If not, go back and do that now. When you're ready, go online and take the check that goes with this quiz. Remember, the check will be used to set up groups for tomorrow's class lesson. Have a great night.